Hello, we're on the, uh, was it the fourth now, fourth cache now, and some caches I just love for their simplicity and you can get go straight to them. This one actually was uh, straight to, it was a bot or bottom of tree, that was the tree there and it, um, it was a quick find because there's lots of cars that go along here so sometimes you just have to find them. Uh, but I could just show you uh, the cache, I like um, these new... Um, Camos, well, probably not new, but uh, I've seen started to see these. I'll have to start getting them, and it's nicely done. I like the clip because it's to give me ideas for myself. And it's a four, four clipper, it's got the official cache, geocache. Um, a good idea if you're starting to put these out yourself, try and put it in a, in a four, four clipper. Um, container and put um, a sealed bag because it gets wet inside you'd be surprised how wet it, you, it gets inside and um, uh, it's got a it's got a coin in here what's that say geocaching we love it that's good and gives you more information about uh, geocaching and where to go geocaching.com so that's a lovely little cache quick to find love it Sometimes I like um, difficult caches to find, or uh, uh, puzzle caches, but sometimes if you're close to um, habitation, uh, sorry about this, I'll just put it back in. It's back in there, I'll just show you where it went. I've just got it on a post there. Sometimes you have to find a post to sign these. Um, I don't know if it's got a draw cord. No, it hasn't got a draw cord. Let's go and put it back, see what it looks like in situ. So it beeped here. There's the tree. Bottom of tree. In you go. Simple as you like, but look at that. Good camo. So it's um, best to put some stuff on top just in case. There you are. I enjoyed that one. Great. We'll go on to the, the fifth one now. Up the road here. See you in a bit.